Hey guys, what's going on? So in previous episode, we talked about DNS. We talked about the beauty of the DNS protocol. How does it work? So I suggested before jumping into this video, uh, go watch that to understand how DNS works. It's very critical before actually understanding how NS look up this beautiful command that is up that this beautiful command that allows us to look up DNS entries and do all sorts of cool stuff. So how about we get started? So NS lookup stands for name server lookup. And it's available on all, all machines, all operating systems. If I'm not mistaken, I'm using Mac. So you should have that as well. If you're using Linux or Windows, it's right there. And it takes two parameters. First, it takes actually three. It takes a bunch of options. And take, it takes the domain that you want to look up the IP address of, right? So you ask, hey, what is the IP address for saying also.com? Going to give you that IP address back that's that's what it, it does right but also takes another third parameter which is which server do you want to query very powerful and very beautiful uh, third parameter here we're going to use in a minute so if i do nslookuphosein.com these are the four ip addresses that are returned all the a records that are returned from my DNS query. And if you notice, this was the server, the DNS server that was used. This is my router. My router is a DNS server and I used Cloudflare, configured Cloudflare for that. So my, my router is a resolver in this case. And all my DNS queries goes to my router first. So these are the answers I got. I got four IP addresses because I'm running on top of Google. So my website is running on top of Google. So they're doing good load balancing there. But you know, it's not only that, you know, this is not the only thing you can a ask from the server. You can ask for all sorts of domain, like you can ask for options and say, hey, I want the text records. You know, these are notes, if you will, you know, that, that are stored in the record itself. Right? If I do say and also.com, you can see that these are the notes that are stored. I didn't I didn't do that. This is Google did that for me you know they start some sort of a key the verification and this is a proof on how what is that this is actually my site you can ask for all sorts of other records as well like a if you just ask a that's the default right that's what you get so these are some of the records that you can return but did you notice this non-authoritative answer this means that this ip address was returned from a cached resolver as i explained in my present video that means this is not really the actual name server answer so that's why it's called non-authoritative well what, what if i don't trust this answer right? and I'm, i don't want to really be secure right? well you can do this and it's lookup dash type equal ns and you can ask when you do the query, you can ask for the name servers, for the authoritative name servers to be returned. And these are my authoritative name server, DNS4. Well, I have like five DN authoritative name server. I'm, my server is running on top. My registrar is Enum, which went down a few months back. So now here's where it comes powerful. Let's, let's copy one of those puppies. Yeah. And I can now do NS lookup. I do hussainnasser.com. Then I add another parameter. That third parameter is which resolver you want to query. And in this case, I want to query this particular one. You can put any DNS server here and I will answer you. But because this is now the authoritative, you see that I don't get that text anymore that says, hey, this is not authoritative. And do you see that? My recursor my local router recursor was bypassed i have bypassed everything and went directly to the source so that is as authoritative as it can get right very powerful stuff i can also do hussein and i can a ask a query from any particular resolver i can ask google 8888 give me an answer for that so this way that query the UDP packet will go to 8888 in order to answer that or query. So you get that back, the answer. Obviously, 
it is non-authoritative. That's why you get that message. In the, in the future, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, a more detailed tool that's called DIG, Domain Information Grouper. Uh, it does almost the same job with more details, you know, just uh, queries uh, any records and show you ev pretty much everything if you want. So this is the same record, same query against using DIG. You know, so we can do dig hosseinnasser.com and I ask for, I don't know, text record. So you can get the text records this way. You can ask for MX records, mail documents, the, the mail, the email servers. You can ask for SVC, any service requests. There isn't any, but there is an SOA. It's the root servers. Very useful tools for DNS querying. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.